where I see this going in the future, and I've always felt this way since the beginning, the possibilities are, are limitless for us. Uh, I personally truly believe in what we're doing here. I buy as much stock as I can outside of the company because I believe in what we're doing. You know, I see us doing amazing things here in the industry and uh, changing it as a whole. Yeah, I wanna go get it. <laughs> Let's go get it. I see this company going further down the road than just off the Florida coast. I think we have incredible potential. I know there's um, a lot of sites around the world that people either can't get to because of funding or can't get to because of where they're located. Using a magnetometer or something like that and using the sea searcher to discriminate what's on those sites. I think that with our can-do attitude and the great team that we have now, that we have the potential of actually going out and finding those sites and adding to the body of knowledge that is around the world about shipwrecks. My belief is, is that this technology will change the face of treasure recovery 100%. It will not be the same as it was the moment that we find our first treasure with this device. This company was a traditional treasure hunting company for a decade. It wasn't until a year or two ago that they started to develop this technology. For me and for other investors that have come in recently, it's really been the perfect time to come in and start to help the development of that and foster the development of that technology. There's quite literally no competition that can compare based on the technology that we have. So I see the future as quite bright because of that and the fact that we are here on the Treasure Coast and all these caches of value do exist in, in shallow waters right off the coast here. And we're not talking small amounts of money. You're talking about bully industrial cargoes of gold, silver, other precious metals that were coming from, from the new world in the tons on a ship. I grew up in Melbourne Beach. Outside of the treasure part, I do just appreciate the ocean. I've grown up around it my whole life. I still get starstruck when I'm down there and I see like a shark or something like that. Or I know at some point we're gonna find something, it's there, it's just a matter of time. But the sea searcher can tell us, this is the area. We can go down on that area, see what's there, and safely extract what we need without harming organisms that are inhabiting that area. And we're caring for the environment while still trying to complete the story. I'm super excited about this company. Uh, I've been with the company now on an advisory role for a year and a half now, and the stuff I've seen is just, just mind-boggling um, what we've achieved. It's a bit um, unfortunate that in the, in the public eye and the, obviously the shareholder base it only sees treasure, no treasure, while in the meantime we've done, I mean, with so much we built a a hardware platform or a drone, and we build a AI machine learning backend to that that basically processes the, the data uh, in our real time and gives us the results. And the, the technology alone is just worth so much more than the current sh share price, which I think is totally undervalued because nobody is aware of what's going on here. These, these treasure hunting companies that exist, they will literally be on a site for a decade and find you know, a handful of coins over that time. They know the wreck is there. They know the general vicinity even where the wreck is within you know, a thousand feet on every side. But even if you know where it is within a few hundred feet on all sides, where exactly you dig on that site to extract the value that you need to extract without disturbing the rest of it, there is no way to do that. There never has been. The only way to do it is to start blowing holes out of the, you know, and it's just an inefficient process. Every step of that is inefficient. So the real difference is, once you have a general rec site, you can scan it in a single day with our technology and know exactly where the caches of value are, what exactly those are, why they're valuable, the proximate depth of them. I mean, you can pinpoint surgically exactly where, where you should be going after these things instead of floundering for a decade trying to figure out where you should be doing so. So it's a pretty stark difference between what was and what is and can be into the future. I got the chance to meet Sam Walton. He was at a shareholders meeting and I had a big position at Walmart. He made the comment that he had made more millionaires than anybody alive. And, and when he made that comment, it just struck me. And it was like, wow, that's what I want to do. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just getting started.